Hi guys, Dane here, and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently 25 past 11 on Sunday the 5th of March. Um, I am reading Marple by various authors, 12 new Marple short stories by 12 different writers. It's been okay at best, but hey ho. Um, cracking on, might do an all-nighter to get some writing done, like the good old days, because I have a client deadline tomorrow. And that's about all i got for you at the moment. Dane reads. I've made stir-fry. Hello and greetings. It is uh, 25 past 9 on Monday the 6th of March. I had to check that. I got very confused. I finished reading that Miss Marple book. Uh, it was like a 3.5 out of 5. At two different points, Miss Marple let out a breath she didn't know she was holding, which made me feel very ill. Plus, there was one that was written in present tense, which also I hated. Um, I've just started the audiobook of Troubled Blood by uh, Robert Galbraith, J.K. Rowling. Um, it's okay so far. I'm pretty much just reading it because I've started the series at this point. Um, not a massive fan of it. The TV series is pretty good though. Um, and I'm currently reading as my main book, Sudden Wealth by Robert Llewellyn. So he's the guy who played Crichton in Red Dwarf, which is one of my favourite TV shows. Um, this was written in like 2000, 2001 and does feel very dated, but it has some stuff that's kind of similar to Brexit because uh, in it, the UK is joining the Euro and we're going to use the Euro, uh, which I'd forgot people were worried about back in the day. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm only like 15, 20 pages in, so I can't say too much about it at the moment, but I will let you know, and I'm probably going to do a review of it, and that's me done. I'm going to go do some editing and some more work and shit. Oh, my spring clean has been coming on, and tomorrow I'm going to go and stay at Shay's after she has her pottery lesson. And I did two calls today, so I'm tired. Hello, people of YouTube. It is currently 10 to 9 on Wednesday, the 8th of March. I'm still reading Sudden Wealth by Robert Llewellyn. Oh, now there goes my bookmarks. Um, it's alright, I'm about halfway through. It's actually got to the bit that's written about in the blurb now. They're going to try and steal a bunch of... Basically it's set when the UK is switching to the Euro, so they're going to try and steal a bunch of pound sterling at the point at which it no longer becomes legal currency. It's just alright, it's on course for like a 3.5 out of 5. Shay is over at the moment, she's in the bedroom, she's resting her eyes, definitely not sleeping. Uh, she's cuddling up with Biggie. Um, I am cracking on with some work and some filming and stuff. I got paid today, which was nice. I've been continuing the spring cleaning as well. she has been doing some colouring in. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there we go. She's been colouring that in with her Posca pens. Very good. And that's where I'm at. Hello, it is um, 20 past 9 on Tuesday the 9th of March 2023. I'm very tired and not feeling particularly well today, but I'm keeping on keeping on. I uh, slept most of the day and then woke up at like half three-ish because I had calls at four, five and seven. Um, been to the shop earlier to get some stuff for dinner later. I have finally been paid so that's good. I'm still reading Sudden Wealth by Robert Llewellyn. It's aight. And uh, that's all i got for you I think. Oh, I've started watching Death Note, uh, the anime. I'm getting a new tattoo soon of Biggie. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Hello everybody, it is me, ya boy. It's currently quarter past 10 on Saturday the 11th of March 2023. My sleep is absolutely screwed, so I slept from like 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. or something. Um, I will probably be up all night tonight, and then I'm hoping if I'm awake in the morning I can do a little bit of work out in the garden, depending upon whether it snows again, because it snowed yesterday, uh, which has stopped me. But I've done all of my inside work. I'm on a diet again, I'm doing my fitness pal, because I'm pretty much at the heaviest I've ever been. Which isn't good, um, but I've been eating healthily, so that's alright. I've done my filming and editing, or most of it for today. I've done all my editing anyway, just got a little bit of filming to do now, which should take about 10 minutes. Um, I'm up to date with all of my work, so once I've done this, I'm going to go for a shower. And then I'm going to get into bed and watch some Netflix documentaries. I watched the one about the disappearance of the Malaysian Airlines flight, the uh, MH370. Watched that, that was very good. And then I watched... Uh, five part series about a French serial killer couple which was just okay. Um, I've been watching a bit more Death Note. Currently I'm listening through some a couple of radio shows that I've filmed and recorded and done my interviews for um, which takes me up till the end of April so it's nice to be ahead with those. Um, and so yeah I'm pretty much up to date with everything even with my writing. Uh, my writing I'm up to date with everything so next up is just to work more on the uh, Lightfold series so book number five Dutch Courage. Um, I have been getting illustrations and cover design done and I've also bought some layout software to release a book of poetry called Oceanus which is good because I wrote that in about 2012-2013 so it'll be good to finally get that out hopefully in a couple of months potentially by April 14th because that would be the anniversary of when the Titanic sank and it's about the sinking of the Titanic 
so we'll see but yes yeah, so I've had like most of my illustrations done for that I've got a call on Monday to talk about the cover design and we'll go from there um, yeah and so just doing a bit of editing I'm submitting to some competitions and my boilers just started making this weird noise I gotta call someone to get to look at that you can probably hear that. Uh, reading wise, I have finished reading uh, that Albert Camus book, which was quite good, like 3.5 out of 5. I read I Am Pushing the Cat by Claire Belton, 3.5 out of 5. Not too much to say about it, there's hardly any words to it. It's Pushing the Cat and comics of it, so that's quite cute. And I've just started reading They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. I'm literally about 30 pages in, but I made a few tabs, so I'm probably going to do a review of this. So that is where I'm at. I'm going to go do the boiler now. Yo, I'm a sleepy boy. It's 9.38 a.m. on Sunday the 12th of March, 2023. I haven't slept. I was up all night. I watched a documentary on Jimmy Savile, a notorious uh, child molester. He is a molester! Um, from here in the UK. I've been reading They Both Die at the End. I, mean, I only picked this up yesterday and that's how far through I am now. So I've almost finished it. I am Machine the Cat by Claire Belton. So this book was that's my TikTok going off. Um, I've been doing some work out in the garden, which I will probably continue doing until I fall asleep, which may be soon. I've been doing some jogging and some exercise and all that stuff. Just been being very productive, really. Biggie's down there. Hello! It's me. Good Lord, it has been a bit crazy. So you guys know I had a little infection on my leg. Uh, it, was a sp it was a spot or an insect bite, I'm not sure, which then became infected and developed into a uh, abscess. And I'd been trying for about four days to get a doctor's appointment at my local doctor's and just didn't have any luck. Um, and so I was just trying to kind of treat it at home. And then it burst and I had this dressing on. And I woke up in the morning and there was just blood everywhere. It soaked through the dressing, gone everywhere. So I went to the minor injuries unit at my local hospital expecting that they would give me antibiotics. And instead they sent me directly to A&E, another hospital that's about 15, 20 miles away. So uh, Shay came with me, we got the bus there. Sat in A&E, um, they did some scans, they took a look at it. Um, they put me on a drip and started giving me antibiotics intravenously. And uh, basically I was very, like, I was borderline having sepsis and also the infection had almost reached the bone. So they kept me in overnight for observation. And um, yeah, so I was at the hospital like for 36 hours or so. Read some books while I was there because I had nothing else to do. I actually ran out but luckily they had a, like a second hand bookshop. Um, and yeah, and then they discharged me, I mean that was Thursday morning I went to uh, minor injuries and they discharged me Friday night, came back home and have been being productive ever since. It's now Monday, it's uh, Monday the 20th of March at 25 past 3. I'm um, still taking my 4 day antibiotics, I've got 3 calls today but I've done one of them and uh, the next one is in about half an hour but one of my uh, colleagues, fellow coaches is, is leading that one so that's fine. Um, she's leave, leading the rest of the ones till the end of the end of this month because then she's leaving so we're going to give the people the, the most sort of Jana time as we can. In terms of reading, so I finished reading One of Us is Lying by Karen M. McManus. That was a 3 out of 5. It was okay, very workmanlike. There was a twist at the end that you could see coming a mile away. So hey ho. I read uh, Expedition to Earth by Arthur C. Clarke which was probably another three out of five um a collection of Arthur C. Clarke short stories now unfortunately the best short story of the lot happened to be one that I'd already read so I skipped past that there were two in that collection that I'd already read um but other than that it was all right just okay uh then in the hospital I read uh well I finished reading that Arthur C. Clarke book then I read One of Us is Next by Karen M. McManus 3.5 out of 5 the writing and plotting was a little bit better the only downside to it was that at the end you get the big reveal of who did it and it was somebody who hadn't been mentioned up until that point so it's kind of felt like a I don't know a deus ex machina and a cheap way out you know um, I'm one of those author, uh, readers who when they read like crime and mystery books I'm kind of reading it for the journey um, and so I wasn't too worried about trying to guess who it was but I can see why that would totally annoy a lot of other people um, I then read The Talented Mr. Ripley by Patricia Highsmith, so that was the book that I got at the hospital from their uh, used book place. You know, middle of the road, 3.5 out of 5, it was alright. Um, I won't be continuing the series, I will be reading Strangers on a Train though, which she wrote. And I'm actually currently about 45 minutes into watching the movie of The Talented Mr. Ripley, because uh, that's what I do. I've also been watching some more Death Note. Um, I actually, the first nine episodes I think I watched were in Japanese, but then they were corrupted. So I had to re-download them and then for some reason when I re-downloaded them they're now dubbed into English. But that's okay because I'm only kind of half watching them while working. So the fact they're dubbed into English actually makes it easier for me to follow along. Um, and I'm now reading Punchbag by Robert Llewellyn. Excuse me. <coughs> 
And so Robert Llewellyn is the guy who played Crichton in Red Dwarf, which is one of my red favourite TV shows. I read another one of his books recently, which I can't remember now, but that was about like the EU. Um, and so that felt pretty relevant, even though, again, these were written like 20 odd years ago. And this punch bag, this was written about 20 years ago as well, but it's kind of about feminism, uh, female self-defense classes. And so uh, it also feels very timely, very interesting so far. I'm only about 60 pages in. I'm gonna be reviewing all of these except for the talented Mr. Ripley, by the way, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, I'm pretty much up to date with my work. Um, so there is that, so again today I'm probably going to be spending a bit of time editing and filming because I haven't done too much of that for a while. But that seems like a good place to love you and leave you, so as always thanks a lot for reading this week's vlog, or watching this week's vlog. As always let me know if you've read any of these books and if so what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button for more and I'll see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot, bye bye.